It's one of my favourite department stores. Long live Liberty, that's what I say. Beautiful. Those colours. How cute is that? That's all I need for Easter. Manola. They're cool, aren't they? I like this. Just look at the colour. Pretty vampire's wife wrap dress. Georgie Gorris Cole, what are you wearing now? Really pretty Alexa. Chung dress. Good morning, Georgie College Cole. How are you? Good. Nice coat. Where'd you get it? How was your weekend? My week, Rich. How was I've your been week? Really nice. I've missed you, don't get me wrong, but I also have quite enjoyed not seeing you for a week. I'm sure the feeling's mutual. No, 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 I've missed you terribly. <laughs> It's been really nice. Where'd you go? What'd you do? I went to Molly's Motel. Molly's Motel is as American as a motel can be in the UK on the edge of a main road. I think it's an old travel lodge that was bought by the Soho House Group. I'm running out another three. A motel. A diner. As my husband says, it's fucking genius. Why didn't I think of this? My children have seen some quite nice places. Perks of the job. They thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. This is Amy getting in her bunk. Look at the size of the bunk. That's Whoa. just one bunk. <laughs> It's all in my bed. It's all in my bed. All in my bed. <laughs> I did the California road trip when I was a teenager with my family. Just going to this motel on the side of the highway and then made me quite excited about doing that with them. Went bowling, Cotswold Wildlife Park. I recommend it. Went to the RAF Museum. My parenting game is strong right now. So now I'm back to my building site. How's the house? Is it painful? So there's just still so many things to do. Let's just hope by the end of the behind the scenes series that most people are out of my house. I think that's realistic. Georgie Corrie Cole, what's on your desk? What light. What light is that? There's only one way to find out. I think this is the light for my study. My study's looking cool. Hey, it is. That's cool, isn't it? It's really reasonable too. See, Zoltar was right. I paid for these. Still got something nice in the post though, that's all he said. Yeah, but there's no press discount. Zoltar might have been right. So where's this light for? This is for my dressing room. I think that's how it goes. What else, what else, what else? Connor. Dear George, in case you're going away for half term. Too late, I'm afraid. Our travel pouch is the perfect companion. It's reusable. Well, fabulous for the environment. Bloody hell. These can't be good for the environment. Oh, cute. Hand and body wash. Fragrance. Hand and body lotion. How's it smell? Really nice. Mm. Really pretty. What do we have here? Joe Love. Seville Orange and Neroli hand and wash lotion. Oh, nice. Eucalyptus and Cedar Woods hand and wash lotion. Oh, a little towel. Who are G and F? Oh, are they a brand? My sister in law is called Georgia. My brother's called Fred. Can you imagine they Googled it and it was wrong? She's stolen your name. Georgia, you've stolen my name and now I'm getting personalised gifts to you and my brother. What the fuck? That's hilarious. She comes up on Instagram before I do now. This is so much fun. That is hilarious. <laughs> Free time, my brother. Hello. You know your wife's stolen my name? Well, it is her name now. Joe Love sent me a message before Valentine's Day and present for you delivered to the office. I've only just opened it. <laughs> Yeah. Very funny. Well done, you. Yeah, that over. I'll send it over. Hi, Fred. Excellent. Rich says hi, you're on camera. Hey, Rich. That's hilarious. Let's see what's in George and Fred's towel, shall we? Oh, lovely. Should I keep those and just send them the towel? How's it smell? Oh, amazing. Oh, that's good. There we go. What else have I got? Oh, I've got some stuff from Clarins. You're a Clarins fan, right? I mean, I'm obsessed by their lip stuff, as you know. What's in here? Bright Plus Serum evens and targets dark spots. Oh my God, I need that. I'm getting dark spots in my old age. I couldn't have come to a better person, really. There's a reason why Becky didn't get this and I did. She's not holding off the dark spots. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cool. Ooh, cool, little, isn't it? Little pipette. It's a cool pipette. It smells good, but you know, the proof will be in the pudding. If it can reduce my dark spots, then that would be a miracle. Probably is they're bloody hard to get something else this is valentine's gift oh. i think it's personalized to georgia and fred hope so you do as well Ooh, what you got what you got jackpot oh my god they've been listening <laughs> I feel like I've won the lottery. Thank you, Karen. I am literally the spokesperson for the stuff. It is the best colour pink. Read about it. Oh my god, that is so cool. Thank you. Hashtag one, two, three, four, five gifts. I'm a fan. And that's it. Great. Oh, it's one more thing. Last but not least. Well, how long have they been there? Oh, it's Valentine's Day. Two weeks ago. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to come back to open all this stuff. I hope you love our eternal roses. The last a year. What do you mean the last a year? Please avoid extreme temperature, direct sunlight. Do not water silk smiths of London. Not made of silk. Hey, they're Real roses. Oh. God, aren't they lovely? Really nice. Wow. I think that, Rich, is everything that's on my desk. Georgie, what are we going to do now? We're going to go and chat to Mayor, who's in the building. Mayor is in the building. Everyone knows when Mayor's in the building. He's like part of the furniture now. So he has come in to chat about doing a regular feature on SL9. We yeah. used to do a monthly shoot with him where we take a topic and shoot it on him. He's got such a good look. Really appeals to so many people. Born to model. He's got amazing bone structure, perfect physique. He's really good in clothes. We're really excited to work with him in an ongoing basis. We had such good feedback to the feature that we wrote on him. And he looked so good in all the clothes. Something he really wants to do as well. Perfect timing, perfect fit. Iron it all out today and hopefully get going quite soon. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Georgie. Hi. 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 Hi.
sweetie, where do you fit in? Oh, these casework are. Oh, I thought Corey was your case. Share one. So special in these two. How are you? Good, Jordi. How are you? Well, thanks. Oh, cool, great. Yeah, what have yeah. you been up to? My life has changed fast. People enter in my DMs for photo shoots. Really? Um, yeah, for a music artists who young couples get I married. I saw that. Yeah, it's like, a, I hope he's not getting married. Oh, no, 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 no way. No way. When I sent it to my mum, I'm just starting laughing. She was like, there's no way you'll be getting married and I'm not there. No, that's she the, the she's the bride. She just Amazing. DM'd me and said, yeah, look, I'm, I've seen your look. This is the look that captured her. She really wants this, this look right here. So Everybody wants that look. I, I know, don't we all? Cool. So look, in terms of going forward with us, we think we shoot a monthly shoot. Yeah. So there's a different theme each month. Take one great jacket, start it three different ways. Take a trend like tweed, see the shirts. Yeah. Hope yeah. that's not a trend. For January, yeah. May is doing X. Mm. So every single thing. Well, they could make your whole calendar by the end of it. You yeah, could buy it. Yeah, that would be my calendar. I want to do that. My mum's already. What's your calendar? The podcast is about to start. Okay. Okay. Can you, can you just ask them to wait for five minutes? So what we would love to do is we'll take a half day. There'll be a feature so that, that goes half out a day month. half day yeah. month. We put it out on the site. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually that could lead to more. Yeah, yeah and more hopefully for you, like building out your portfolio, yeah. your Instagram, keep mm. posting. We can at the end of every one, we can put your Instagram handle, yeah. contact me. Yeah. Hopefully that with brands and things. Good feature for us. Lovely content. Great to work with you. Look great in clothes. Exactly. Hopefully everyone will benefit and a bit of income. Got to start somewhere. Honestly, George, you know me and you, we're pioneer and key for life. They've never yeah. had anyone come and then be a model and so never. on and so forth. So like, yes. Honestly, so and good. this is my first ever job in my first life. Ever like, be good. 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 Well, good. my first ever. Ever, oh God, ever yeah. face slip in my life, like, it's I'm awesome. so like, it's I, awesome. honestly, Jordi, for me, it's not really mostly about the money, you know. For yeah. me, it's just more about experience, getting yourself out. I know, but let's make it a business transaction. Yeah, 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 all yeah, of yeah. us, you turn up at this time, mm, we yeah. shoot until this time, yeah, organize the look, yeah, yeah. and the pictures will be great. Let's look at the diary. I'm first free whenever. We'll get the first I'll one booked in. I can bring uh, yeah. I'll make time. Is this another thing as well? Not with the portfolio. Do I just get the photos and email it to a brand I want to work with? How do I do it? Nowadays, having your Instagram profile is basically your oh, digital portfolio. portfolio. Oh, yes. Everyone you speak to, share that with them. Keep that up to date, keep an eye on what it is. That being like your business portfolio, yeah. snap and stuff, that's more personal. That's personal. So personal. if they're friends you speak to, you're like, send us a couple of pictures, mm -hmm. then you just can attach them in that way. Like, I've got Rachel Stevens from yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm going to show you how. I can't wait. Well done, pal. See you later. Lou, what are we doing now? Yes. We can't do that when we're up there, though. Rachel Stevens. What are we talking about in the podcast, you know? Household chores that you can do. Household DIY. Can you bleed a radiator? Can you bleed a radiator? Yes. What else? Can you hang a picture? Yes. Yeah, I can hang a picture, yeah. Hi, Rachel. Hi, how are you? So good, thank you. How are you? Good. How are you today? Good. You excited yeah. about the podcast? Yeah, looking forward to it. You've got potential wedding shoes. Ooh. Yeah, beautiful. Like the same leather. leather. Kind of like a tool. Also love those. You're getting married. Yeah. End yes. of May, and I'm trying on my dress on Saturday, and they basically said you need to have your shoes to try it on. So now I'm yeah. in a panic of like, oh, I need to buy yes. the shoes now. What is your problem though, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you found what you want? Yes, I have. Yes, yeah. super excited. Really nervous. Yeah. It's going to be quite a fashion-y well, festival. Well, we'll everything today. Are there any contentious topics? I'm doing the housework. Lou said you could drain a radiator. Can you? No, I don't even know what that is. Rachel, can you drain a radiator? Uh, no. Polly? I love ones. Please. 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 You need a key, yeah, you're right. I didn't even know you needed a key. I'm the light bulb changer at home. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a very low barrier. You can change the light bulb. I can't do anything. So it's all on me. Oh, I've got one of those too. I know, I used to. <laughs> 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 too. Welcome to the Sherlock's Highlights podcast with me, Charlotte Collins. Rachel, you are a bit fashionista on Instagram oh, these days. Have you always been into style? Always. I love fashion so much. I always thought that was going to be my career path. Mm -hmm. I went to London College of Fashion. I did a business course, thought about maybe doing buying. Left college, started working at PR companies. I was 18. And then S Club kind of took me in a totally different path. Not the best for fashion in the 90s, <laughs> not no. gonna lie. Do you shop mostly on the high street? I'm a massive high street girl. We've got one of the best high streets. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. In the world. Yeah, we do. But I do like to dabble in a little bit of designer as well. It's lovely to mix and match. I was yeah. looking on the Aussie yeah. website and they have got the most beautiful oh, yes. summer collections. Did you see I tried on that piece of white dress? Yes. yes. Oh, oh my god. god. Look, that's the ruffle. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like a pleated ruffle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, sleeper new collection. Have you seen their cake? No. No. Yeah, it's open at the side. I think she's turned the front on the website, it's around the front. Flowers, like coming oh, up your neck. Amazing. Amazing. Before we finish, we have to just quickly talk about Strictly. We are Strictly mad. Oh. An amazing experience.
experience. And obviously you had some dance experience from S Club. Totally different style. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel that how that kind of yeah. hip hop routine yeah. so different to yeah. tango or yeah. a rumba. And I'd never done partner work or anything. Mm -hmm. I was coming in it totally fresh. But no, it was incredible. Wow. I'm in it for the constant spray tan. That's, That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> Rachel, thank you so much oh, for joining us. You. Bye everyone. Oh, so it's the marketing team. Yeah, we'll do a what's in my handbag. That's all right. Nothing very glamorous <laughs> in my handbag. No, that's fine. Five favourite looks or on Instagram. Oh, I love this look. Is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. And where's your shirt? Next Oh, Mitchell so Stevens, what are you wearing today? New look boots, top shot editor jeans, Zara jumper mm. and coat, Gucci bag. One item for spring, summer. Big dress fan. And what's your favourite dress brand? Wixo is always good. Gani. Lovely. Zara. Great. I mean, I could go on and on. Who are your favourite people to follow on Instagram? Something Navy. I'm obsessed with her. We are twin set. The frugality. The fashionable pan. Proudest moment in your career. I did an S Club reunion four years ago. My daughter was there to be a part of it. All of the S Club songs are on top of her playlist, obviously. <laughs> the big fan, both my girls are. Just share that with them. Hi, I'm Rachel Stevens, and here are my five favourite looks on Instagram. As if you're looking at it and as if the viewer is looking at it with you, basically. This is a Marge checked blazer and trouser suit on my list as one of my favourites. Always feels really smart. Dress down, dress up. I made me high street for my denim. I love a shoulder pad. Can I just get you just taking each yeah, yeah. out one by one? And nailed it. Sorry. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye Rachel. Bye, Bye lovely. Thank, thank you so much. much. How did that go? I mean what a babe. I yeah. love her. So nice. Easy to work with. So good at both the podcast and the filming. Great. Lovely morning. Good morning guys. How are you? Good. good. How are you? Very well but very cold. It's cold. Yeah. Where are we today? We're outside Harrods bright and early because we're going to go and have some breakfast. We are. Breakfast at Tiffany's. Breakfast at exact. Tiffany's. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Tiffany's had a very successful pop up in New York. It's popping up in Harrods. It's a very Tiffany themed cafe. And I think it's going to be quite hard to get in, so I'm very excited that we've got an exclusive yes. preview. It's not just a breakfast, no, but we exactly. thought, how can we go to a Tiffany's pop up and not go for a breakfast? breakfast. Are you guys excited? Yeah. So excited. It's cold, but exciting. Well, on that point, should we go in and have a look? Yeah. <laughs> May I ask what brings you here this morning? We've got a press appointment. Oh, well, of course, darling. <laughs> have you. a wonderful morning. Thank you very much, sir. It's a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Oh, there she is. It's really nice. Proper jewelry box. Oh my god, look. That's the Empire State Building, there. Yeah, you can take a picture of sitting on the giant box. Yes, yes, it's gorgeous. Great. You know how just before I was saying somebody was telling me about how good the food was here. It was Alice last week. How good is the food here? Outrageous. On the fruit salad, there's a micro coriander, and it's so good. Would you have a glass of something? Is it too early? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining us to celebrate the launch of the Tiffany Blue Box Cafe here at Harrow. Enjoy the rest of your morning. Oh my god, wow. look at that. Do we go in? I think we should. I'm going Heather's not one first. Okay, okay, I'm really going to actually. Heather, which one have you gone for? Lemon curd, corn. Chocolate, look at that. How did it taste? That's so good. How's it taste? Go and rich. Get stuck in. Oh, the lemon curd is zingy. Top croissants of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Salad, How's it taste? It's got lots of limey mm. I like the coriander with it. I think the watermelon is very good. It's delicious. It's the best watermelon mm. I've ever had. Thank you. Thank you. Heather, what you got there? Avocado on the toast. Right, I'm going in. How does it taste? Is it really that good? So good. What were the highlights in the breakfast? The crab, 100%. So good. If you're coming here, guys, get the crab. It's delicious. Yeah. You can vouch for it too. Right, should we go look at the boxes? What are we going to do now? We're going to go and look at the Empire State Building made of Tiffany boxes. Heather, will you be sitting in the really box? Think I want <laughs> this, isn't it? this is one way to propose, isn't it? So, I'll have an Instagram picture and use it as content. Uh, Heather, what's happening now? Apparently, we're getting a Tiffany taxi. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. you, sir. Guys, have a lovely day. How was that? What a lovely way to start Wednesday. Please. Civilized and glamorous. If you're looking for something to do with yeah. your mum or your grandma or some girlfriends, or if you're looking for one of these, yes. perfect place to go. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bye, Ray. Look at the camera, girls. Look at the camera, girls. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. Right, come on out. Thank you. No, we're going. No, we're going. You're going in the cab anyway. Oh, happy days. <laughs> good morning, Rebecca Hull. How are you? Good morning, Rich. I'm good. How are you? Very well. What have you been doing this morning? This morning, we have been at a breakfast with Estee Lauder and the French makeup artist Violette. How is Violette? Absolutely divine. We've just been talking about their new foundation launch more of a sheer base than their double wear but it's beautiful on the skin so we are here to speak to Violette get a feel for the product get all her grizzly beauty tips how was breakfast please spot Dixon's inside let's go what have we got here it's the new 
new base we're here for today, the Futurist Hydra Rescue, SPF 45. You can use it all around your eye area as well, and like other bases. There's only 20 shades in the range. Yeah. She is out to match. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. How are you doing, love? You okay? Very well. How was breakfast? Great, thanks. This is Rhea and Bryony. I know you. Yeah, we did it's all right, that's the old Hello, how are you? Deluxe, that's where we've been. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the product? Yeah, really good, actually. I need to try it properly on the clean face. Yeah. I think I'm going to be set. I'm You were found a double wear already? I don't use it. I don't need that much coverage, but I prefer glow. What do you use? A lot of different stuff. What's your go-to? NARS Radiant Longwear is one of my all-time favourites. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. Mix with a bit of oil just to shear it out. By Terry's new Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. Bonjour. Hi. How are you guys? Hi, good, good nice to meet you. Good morning, Violet. How are you? Good. It's so happy to be in London. What are we doing today? We're going to talk about my new favourite foundation, Futurist by Estee Lauder. I always say I'm not a huge foundation fan because I love skin texture. The brand that makes the best foundation is Estee Lauder. Double way I use it when I have events, I know it's going to be the perfect color match. Fit my skin perfectly day on. Don't have to worry about it. For day to day look, I was really looking for something like that. I tried it on. Honestly, I don't know if you played with it. When you touch it, close your eyes, it feels like skin care. Talking about Becky, what shade should she use? I'm such a pale skinned. I would say this range for me too dark how do you know what's the best way to choose color hand to see if it's your color hands are always like lighter than our face We're always pretty here in your jaw yeah you want to match your neck and your face so it's a perfect place to one color that feels right one lighter one darker three shades and then you can see what's actually the best i would say this because it's too light oh it's really silky isn't it's it it's incredible the texture so there is coverage right yeah you two drops for my entire face it's kind of dewy isn't it it's dewy it's dewy yeah for sure here you see this part of my hand Complete cover, you see no veins, no redness, no pores, and here you see it. But between the two, it's, a it's not like clear definition of product with my skin. It's really hard to see where you apply it. You feel it, it's like skincare. And it's got SPF 45, which is high. It's very foundation. high. Really high. How do you apply foundation? Let's show on you. For you, I would apply it here to replumb the zone of your face. You have amazing cheekbones. Ooh. Maybe it's a bit darker when you have no mm. foundation. Apply the foundation here. Pat it with a blender. And then we'll stretch it out. And I like how you applied your makeup. I see the transparency here. That's what I want to have. And then again, I'm going to stretch it out that way. Apply it a bit here, stretch out, open the eyes. The last thing I do is that I remove the foundation on the nose. If you remove the foundation there, it creates an optical illusion that your skin is natural. It's oh. a huge game changer. Because you heard it here first, guys. You have no redness on your nose. Like, you do not need foundation. You're so accustomed to just putting it all over yeah. your face. Yeah, you're like, perfect. See, she has no redness. Don't put ever a foundation on your nose. <laughs> it's Becky. a good thing. <laughs> just on the bridge of the nose. That's it. What are you top tip for achieving that perfect Parisian makeup look. You need to have the spirit of a Parisian. How do you get the spirit of a Parisian? Spirit, are you going to add a beep to a bad word? I'm gonna it's use. always a bit, I don't give a shit in the French aesthetic. I would not call that effortless because we're not effortless with our skincare. We love skincare. We're obsessed with skincare. Obsessed. We always want touch up. I don't give a shit in our look. Red lips, you need a bit of messy hair, but the hair needs to be shiny and clean, just messy. Eyeliner, don't contour, don't put false lashes, don't put eyeshadow. That's going to give you a big glam. We don't want, want people to say, why well, you look amazing, not saying your makeup look amazing. You allow to one statement, the rest need to be healthy, clean, glowy. How long are you in London for? Four days. On a short trip, what are the things you always have in your bag? Have a charger. <laughs> always have a charger. Foundation. Yes, they literally have it. Beauty blender. Blender's your friend. Yes, this lip balm that I love. Ooh. Lip saver for my vita, that's the best. Very dry lips like mine. Not really like a nerd with brush. I use more my fingers, so I got this Scott Barnes one. Then I'm kind of a weirdo, I always have <laughs> which is really big. What is that? <laughs> So this is uh, silver. Actual silver. Anything happens to you, this on. I don't even understand what is that. What do you do with it? Whenever I have a cold, I'm gonna drink it. I have this eye allergies. Put a few drops in my eye. On my hair. I just kill it with it. What is it called? Silver and silver. Guys, we're learning everything today. <laughs> Cap on the go. That was my cha. The best hair. How do you call this? Oh, it's crunchy. It doesn't mean cold. Sunglasses. That's it. Oh. Thank you so Thank you much. much. So so lovely to meet you. How was that? That was brilliant, wasn't it? She gave so many tips. So chilled out. I could have chatted to her for absolutely ages. Can't wait to try the foundation myself. Awesome. Uh, so we're going to do two recipes. Savory and sweet. Okay. Spinach pancakes, which has got some peas running through, a bit of texture. Sweet one is just your basic American fluffy pancake, drizzled with so much nut butter, you won't go swimming in it. Ab basically. This sounds absolutely sensational. The texture of custard. Really quickly. <laughs> Whenever I put lemon in anything, I always add zest. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, that's good.
poached egg yeah. just nicely on top. Oh. Well done, that looks amazing. Not me. So good, don't probably get stuck in. Oh. Definitely. Mm. And don't forget to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. Bye bye. How was the pancake? Delicious. I had some of the savoury one actually. I used to be such a sweet gal, but my god, so many flavours I would never put in a pancake, but it really works. Oh, what do you yeah. just want to get for their photo? I heard that it wasn't a proper pancake unless you flipped it. Is that what you heard? Yeah, that's why it hurt. Go on then. Land on your head. Woo, it's like twizzling. A cordon bleu flip. Did you have all day doing that in Cordon Bleu School? No. Just that. It was paid off. Five hours of just wrist action. Oh, look at that. Run. Beautiful. Ooh. Fantastic. Polly has a taste. Sensational. Charlotte has a taste. Good thanks, bro. Poppy has a taste. Really good, thanks. Amazing. Georgia, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Worries. So nice. How did that go? Long show. Sometimes you've got to give these things the time they deserve. And we've got two great packet recipes out of it. <laughs> What's it going to be? The magic. I say, I'm like, I'm obviously okay with the tension. Yeah. But this is my worst thing. Happy birthday to you. Good afternoon, Georgie. What are we doing now? We Oh, sorry, one second. Sorry, sorry, good, great. Sorry. Um, we are doing a. What are we doing, Rich? Key for Life podcast. We're doing a Key for Life podcast. Busy day. Eva, who is the founder of Key for Life, she's an MBE, is here to podcast about why she set it up with her. I hope is somebody on the program at the moment, one of the mentors who's been through the program. We're going to talk to them all about the charity, their involvement, their story, and hopefully raise the profile a bit further on the charity. Encourage companies listening to get involved, give ex offenders a new path. We've had great success here with Maya and with V, so hopefully other people will be inspired. Hello, hello. Hi. Woman. How are you? Hi, Corey. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good. Nice to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, Ross. How are you doing? Good. Do you want to come in? I've just got to go to Luke. Oh, was there Colin the Caterpillar? It was Colin the Caterpillar. It was Charlotte's birthday. That's terrible. They've skinned him alive. All the chocolate's gone. Poor Colin. Colin's gone. That's what we've done to Colin the Caterpillar. You okay? You're going to have to pull out of the bag now. It's late in the afternoon. This podcast brought to you by Colin the Caterpillar. I know. Sugar. Right, let's do it. Key for Life was founded in 2012 by Eva Hamilton, MBE. Share with you some of the challenges I faced as a youngster, probably and why I've set up this charity. I was born into a Protestant family in Ireland. My father was quite a violent alcoholic when I was 16, 17. Got caught up in drugs, had all sorts of things happen to me. When I was 20 or 19, living in Paris, stupidly got into a taxi. A taxi driver actually tried to strangle me. So that was one of the biggest things I hid. It hit me hard some years later. Then I came back and did a business and secretarial course, secretarial work wasn't for me. Went around the world at Mother Teresa's by complete coincidence. I met this doctor and he asked me would I come and help them for a few days. And when I got to Mother Teresa's home for the dying, I had a calling that I was never going to earn lots of money when I was on this planet, that I was here to serve. It was like a bolt of light people talk about, but it really was extraordinary. I ended up back at a new charity. Prince Charles came up with an idea. He wanted more business leaders in Britain to help people in the inner city. So we'd go into inner city housing estates, homeless projects, to really see the problems on the front line of Britain. The Prince of Wales would come with us when I was 28. I burnt out, I stopped sleeping, and I didn't sleep for a year. That was a big wake-up call, so the trauma and the shock and the pain I was carrying. When I came back, my passion was homelessness, and it was then that I set up the homeless work, which was a new model to get homeless people back to work. I had a light bulb moment. Let's talk about Key for Life. Why young men in prison? Why was it that particular group? If you look at the most marginalised people in society, I'd already worked with the homeless, already worked with soldiers. The other area I was always keen on was prison. People who've been ostracised from society, how do you integrate them back in? The horses, music football that's the first stage unlock train up mentors We've trained up this year alone already a hundred mentors they then help these young men go through their journey which is amazing we then do employability in a Brixton prison preparing for the employers to come in next week showing them a new path then they go on a work placement second last stage support meetings every six weeks and then finally they graduate a good few of them will go on to be key mentors they get an equivalent of an A level they give back to other men both of you sitting here today started out on the program caseworker you're a key mentor. That's yeah. so powerful, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is a good moment. Ross and Corey, you're here. Tell us a bit about your story. I was just kind of growing up, and then I say once I hit about 10 to 11 is when my uncles kind of brought me in a game of drug dealing. If it weren't for the ongoing support, as I said, in the mm. Scrubs prison or everyone, I mean, the sergeant, I was like, the ongoing support is what changed me. Ross, you're sitting here very quietly. Yeah, you're yeah, up, you're yeah. up. So I grew up in Hackney, single mum. Never met my father. Seems like a recurring theme. For me, school was a playground. Not have anyone at home to play with. I went to school and I didn't really pay any attention. Class, class. My secondary school. These guys 
guys were kids that never went to school. And they would rob kids after school. You're waiting until three o'clock to make sure you get on the bus, take it home without being robbed for any of your possessions. We then used to decide, okay, we're gonna leave school and go to another school and rob some kids from another school. The reason why I went into crime, I think this is an avenue I haven't tried. Let me just actually fully try it and see what happened. I could have become a very successful drug dealer. Got done maybe 10 years down the line, ended up doing a 10 year sentence, 15 year sentence. So what's different now? There was a workshop, Corey and Yassin were at a stand. Key for Life were there, they seemed like really cool guys. I'm gonna take as much as I can from this experience to be able to kind of make me a better person when I come back. You see so many people in prison, you have so much potential, but they've just channeled it in the wrong direction. On that note, I'm gonna say thank you all so much. It's just thank blows you. my Done. mind. Eva, wow, I salute you. I look forward to working with you. Hopefully for yes. many more years ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Change plan. You guys are amazing. Did you love having him? He's fun yeah. here. Even when he came in yeah. yesterday, you knew it was him. So you so you walked walked good person to have around. I love watching the last film on him. Oh. Oh. So thank you all, hey? Thank thank you guys. Guys. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good morning, Georgie Courage Cole. How are you? Right, how are you? Okay, how's the house? Yeah, it's all right. You're holding it together? Just. What's happening today? We're going to no. Penhaligans today. What is Penhaligans? Quintessentially British fragrance brand. Had a bit of a renaissance in recent years. Going to the store in Burlington Arcade. I've got a friend who works there. Every time I see her, smells amazing. And I was like, right, we've got to go. I've got to go and check it out. So you and I are off a bit of fragrance profiling. What is fragrance profiling? I, I don't know. I'm guessing they're going to find the perfect fragrance for me. Something like that. We'll find out later. Hey, Rich. Good afternoon, Tor Cardona. How are Hi, you? Good, thanks. What's going on today? We're doing some filming with a PT, starting a new fitness series on the side. A couple of videos, one about the squat, second how to incorporate resistance bands. You a big squat fan? Yeah I am but I never find them easy. And they're not designed to be easy. I they? know. Oh, you got this is a resistance band. Thanks. We're going to be telling everyone how they can use these in their routine. How do you However, use them? You can loop them over your thighs, your ankles. They add a ton of resistance and these ones are just so cute. Yeah. They're just great and especially if you're traveling. Yeah. You can do arms yeah. as well. Oh yeah, strong arms level is that extra, extra heavy. heavy. Oh well done. The experts always say going too light is a complete waste of time. If you could do 12 to 15 reps yes. then it's too easy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to get up on the side, do some cool gear, VT on the show. Yeah. Instagram. You're pioneering this section, right? Yeah. This is all on you. Yeah. Better be good. No, I'm not the one who's going to be performing the moves. We've got a PT. She's called Bryony and she's from One Rebel. She's the strength coach. You have no problem, actually. You're really on the extra heavy. Did you see her? She's, she's ripped. Film it. Please don't come in. But it's up. It's I, know, okay. I know. I know. Oh, Eloise. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, apart from walking into the boxes. <laughs> That's some kind of quartz in your bottle, right? Amethyst. It's amethyst. Oh, I started using it yesterday and I felt so calm. Hello, I'm Becky. Nice, 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 nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Laura. Hello, hi. hi. Do four videos. How to perfect the squat. The squat routine. What is a resistant band? How to use it. And then routine using resistant bands. I think it's quite straightforward. Probably be a breeze for you. <laughs> Where does it end here? That's, that's it. I think that's better. Back I need here. to see more of the mat. Yeah. How's it looking? Ooh, so whenever you're ready. Hi, my name is Bryony. I'm one of the trainers at One Rebel. Today we're going to talk through how to master the squat into the sides of the feet and into the back of the heels. It's almost like you could wiggle your toes and pushing the floor away from you. Do you think we should start by the squat is really important because it helps to build strength in your glutes and your ankles? Like one of the most common problems is women always put more weight in their toes. Why is the squat really good? Common mistakes are then going to okay. it. Maybe say if you can't get that look. So yeah. I imagine lots of people will look at it and go, whoa. So it's fine to go to this. It is important to build up the strength through the legs and knees coming over the front of the toes. It's about pushing the floor away. Squeezing your bum at the top and pushing those hips through, tucking those elbows in. Again, squat down. We take it into our front rack position. How did that go? So good. She's amazing. Her energy was brilliant and yeah, brilliant content. Loved it. First in the series, master the squat, master the resistance band. What's next? Don't know yet. Thought we'd start it and then see the reaction from our audience, what else they want to see. I personally think a burpee is going to be really important. No one can really do a burpee. Everyone's terrified of them. They're a killer, right? They're a killer. But I think that is a really important one to do. So that could be next. Uh, we're going to Penhaligans. All right, see you later. The wallpaper's going up in the dining room on Monday, which is quite exciting. Bit of a stressful day at my house. But the sun is shining. Bloody cold outside. It's too cold. I just had a run through of the file. I don't think I'm the fashion team's favorite person right now. They've done some really lovely features. Just a bit too spring-like for this weather. So we need to change the content a little bit. It's freaking freezing. I don't think people are quite ready to buy white pastel green floral summer dresses just yet. Yeah, not quite. It's too cold. I'm not going to buy a pastel summer dress in this weather. No, don't. No, I won't. Um, I will. We are going to Burlington Arcade Penhaligon store. I think they've got really, really amazing scent. They're a bit under the radar. Everyone's mad about niche fragrance brands these days. The Labos by Rados has got some real tradition to it. I think they even have the Royal Warren. Quintessentially British heritage to it. Plus it's a niche brand which we all love and it smells great. Hopefully we'll make our viewers think of Penhaligon's in a holy light. Hi Georgie, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, 
Hi, can you put it through to Sam? What's the budget? Okay. So, I mean, I think say to them, budget isn't big enough for big talent, so it's going to be micro talent. Someone emerging who's on brand. Happy to run through a few ideas with you. I think, yeah, three to five looks. All right, let me know. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh. We're so late. We are so late. We're doing ambling a lot. I mean. Whoa, look at that. The yellow sapphire. Woo. Jeez, look at that. Ooh. How many carrots is that, do you reckon? Oh my God, like eight. Eight, eight. How many do you have? Oh, this is the nice way to shop, isn't it, in oh, here? It's very civilized in here, isn't it? Yeah. I love these men's shoes. They're really, really smart. We featured them on SL Man recently. They're really cool. Really cool. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're here, we're here, we're here. I'm so sorry, sorry that we're late. Hang. It's been a bit of a mission to take. Really if you're decisive, it takes half an hour. Perfect. So that was I think we're good. Really well. Aren't those awesome. cool? Which one would you choose? Have you guys not seen these? No. no. This is the portraits collection. And they're all different characters and different animals. Started with Lord George. Lord he's, George, this yeah, guy. His wife is Lady Blanche. There's a story to each of them. Oh, it smells amazing in here. Well, you'd hope so. I know, but it's just, yeah, we'll sorry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Rich. Give me a chocolate. From Shop and Alan Walker. Yes. Oh, watch out. Let me get you into shoot. Oh, don't worry. How's it taste? Mm, yummy. Mm. Mm -mm. I so needed that. That smell good, doesn't it? It smells, it smells like oogie. You're doing the profiling, aren't you? Yes. How does it work? We'll show you different fragrances based on your preferences. Narrow it down to maybe two, three. Trying your skin. Trying to understand your personality and matching that with the scent. So I'll start by asking you, what do you wear at the moment? Diptyque. Saint Germain 34. Creed. Aventus for her. I love Jo Love. Jo Malone. What do they call the darker ones? Woods Asian Sea Salt. The ones with the dark labels. Oh, right, the intense ones. Yeah. The Jo Malone yeah. intense clones. Favourite fabric to touch. Definitely velvet. Destination to go on holiday. Day. Mauritius. If I was a fragrance destination, I'd probably be New York. What flowers do you like in your home? Hydrangea. Correct. Or what is your favourite cuisine? Japanese. Your favourite drink? Lychee martini. Mm -hmm. Gin tonic. Oaky, buttery, rich, okay. smack you in the face, New World child. No so you're a coffee? Neither. Diet Coke. Sorry, but I'd be a coffee you. drinker if I liked it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I didn't like either of them, but if I was a drink, I'd be coffee over tea. You like the personality type that goes with coffee. <laughs> Highly strong, full on. There we go. So try a few. I feel like those are really good questions to paint a profile. It'd be so interesting to take someone really gentle gentle and quiet and ask them the same questions. They wouldn't have said anything that I just said. So what have you smelled so far? I can't think what it is. First one is leather, rose, leather. saffron, nutmeg. It's quite rich. Mm -hmm. You're in there. Second one, you have ambery, and vanilla, truly fragrance with a hint of tobacco. Oh, very rummy. Yeah, it's quite boozy. It's very boozy. Which one gravitate more towards? That one. The first the one. The first one. Yeah. Ooh, peppery. Spicy, woody bay. Which one do you prefer? That one. How would you know which is which? Yeah, I'll know which one. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Sweet. Does that come in a candle? Oh, that one, so. so that is Halfetti. Well, Halfetti is a Turkish village, place where really dark roses would grow. Added spice notes, wood base, long lasting, strong. Rich. It's one of our best sellers. What have we arrived at here? Fragrance that profiled as being the one that suits the most. We're going to try it on the skin. Yeah, we try Mr. Sam. What's that? That's nice. The second one I showed you. I really like that thing. Could you respray that one? So this is what, Mr. Sam? Smells too like a cocktail. I mean, you can try all three. See on this skin. Are we getting close to it now? So. <laughs> that special technique. What was that, Mr. Sam? That was the first one, yeah. I think that can go. That one was Halfetti. Yeah. Okay. And what's this new one? Cairo. Between Cairo Halfetti. and Halfetti now. Yeah. Can you change the colour bow on the bottle? You can't, I'm afraid. Is that a deal breaker? Yeah, I love it. I think it's Halfetti. And the, the winner is? One. Is that because you thought that was the one I'd like the most? So usually, well not usually, sometimes I get it on first I try. That's first insane. One. Yeah. So you ask those questions in the first one? <laughs> not always, sometimes. It's like 50-50. That's pretty impressive, right? It's <laughs> pretty impressive. Pull that exactly the one that she wanted. Yeah, so cool. you've been profiled, all these scents. And the first First one, based on my quick fire questions, she got it right first time. Out of all of these, it's my favourite. Thank you. How did that go? I never really appreciated fragrance as a real art before. When I got into beauty and fragrance, everything was very commercial. And I love that brands like this having a resurgence and suddenly doing really well again. I've always really overlooked Ben Halligan's is a bit dated, if I'm honest. But actually, what is in there is really cool, isn't it? It's like the real deal. It's all amazing. It's amazing. I'm thrilled with what I've got. It smells seriously good and I will definitely be back. Which one do you know? Where are we now? I don't know how you say it. Badois and Lange. I think we did a competition to win a pair. But I love a tassel, and tassels, tassels can look a bit stuffy and a bit dated, but to me this is like quite a cool modern way yeah. with a really slim fitting trouser on a guy. No socks, love those. Aren't they cool? That is very luxe. Like a proper smoking slipper. Really nice. Oh, yeah. What can you see? Just amazing diamonds. I really don't want to bore our readers with my love of diamonds, but my God, there's some cool stuff. Everyone loves diamonds, right? Oh, look at him in the middle. Wow, that, I mean, one. that is a rock. Look at those diamond studs. Look at the size of those. <laughs> 
What's that? Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. No sure, sure, sure. We gotta go. We gotta go. You're getting in trouble. What are we gonna do now? Just thought we can have the gander and liberty, but you might get thrown out. We'll see what happens. What do you like about liberty? I mean everything. From one British brand to another. Top quintessential British brands, oh, right? I love it. I really do. It is one of my favourite departments. So long live liberty. That's what I say. Look, and that's just fabulous. It's the prints that do it, right? Beautiful. Those colours. I mean, look at the coral. I love that. I love the atmosphere. So good. Oh, so nice. The price point on that one. 180. Love it. Well, that's what Gabrielle does Bottega. Don't mind if I do. How nice. How cute is that? And look, it's the Simone Rocha egg. Happy Easter. <laughs> that would do me. That's all I need for Easter. No chocolate, just give me the handbag. I'm going to crowdfund. Oh, <laughs> love it. So cool. Maybe not the most practical of bags. No, but... who cares? I really love this bag. Oh, just the cutest. It's a new Anya High Marsh. Rope bow bag. Really nice design. Where are we going, Kate? Shoes. Ew. Come on, quick look. See, all price points in Liberty. Carvella. What's the price point on a Carvella? 100 and something, probably. Oh, those would be, I reckon, maybe about 120. I might have got this really wrong. 129, thanks very much. Cool boots. 129. Well, there's everything here 129. <laughs> like a 129 yeah, shot. Everything in Liberty, <laughs> quick, is 129. Love the axle. So cool, my husband loves those. I still love these boots. So comfy. A bit silly. I'd say so. You really like cats. Yeah. You, know, you just That's alienated all. me. I'm not aware of those. Oh, look, there's a my favourite colours. Gaddy boots. Oh yeah, they're the yeah, very same. They were great, but I'm loving those. Manola. They're cool, aren't they? I like those. <laughs> I'm just going to go through there. I'll come back in a minute. You can okay. keep them at the till. Okay, yes. I mean, this Ooh. is just not okay. That is a camel toe. It's not okay. Don't do it, people. If that makes Zara, it doesn't make it okay. That, on the other hand, so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Bobby, but what? No. If Lou's seen them, then that's fine. No, can mine be the split? Has anyone else got that? It's mine. Oh, look. I mean, if she likes me, Mac. You just look at the colour. Isn't that the prettiest <laughs> Mac ever? Oh my God, I have to say, I love this cover. It's less of a piece of foil. Do you know what I mean? It's less post marathon. Yeah. I love it. I really love it. Alexander. Beautiful. Pretty vampire's wife wrap dress. I haven't seen a wrap vampire's wife before. Well done, Susie Kate. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Very cute. Thank Size you. 40. Did you have a 39? Let me double check. Right, Cinderella. Well Chicago to the ball. Too big. What do you think? I think they're amazing. They're amazing. And do you know what I like about them? They're a bit more practical. Oh, the silk ones. Oh, the because Silk ones, okay. You could wipe these clean a little bit, you're not going to notice the stains. You're going to invest in a pair of Monolos and get these bad boys. It's like being in a little church pew. Yeah, it is here, isn't it? Going up. Oh my god, they're such nice shoes. Oh, pretty, pretty. Manzine, love their dresses. How oh, nice is that? Alexa Chung. I like that. That's cool. It sort of looks like it should be a cushion. A peaceful store to shop in. Very calming, isn't it? You might fall asleep on your feet. There we go. Right, I'm going to just try this dress on okay. and then I think we're out of here. Pretty dress. George, you got his collar? What are you wearing now? Really pretty. Alexa. Chung dress. I really love. The collar is amazing. What do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. Almost an optical illusion. Really nice. Love it. I think I've ever tried on anything Alexa Chung before. Really lovely. The colour Ferretti. It looks really expensive. I love it. Very nice. Look, wow. Wow, I don't think I've seen that homeware. Amazing. Oh my god, look at him. Thank you. Okay, salt salt pepper. pepper. 22 quid. That's what a great present. Look at the piggies. <laughs> the piggies. God, look. It's an egg cup holder. What a good present for a godchild or something. Thank you so much. Oh, I love that. I haven't been in there for ages. I should go in there more often. It's quite how a department sure should be. I sort of feel like you go back in time and discover this amazing edit of creativity and great brands. Just pure joy being a liberty, isn't it? Anyway, I've got a present for my friend. I've got to go back to the office. We're going home, so that's a wrap. See you later. Bye, G. See ya.